Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today it's Sunday and it's time for a shave. Real quick, I need to wet my face. I've got three days worth of growth and I am ready for a shave. Today's razor is the Alpha Outlaw, and this is the copper version. I haven't touched this thing in over a year, and this is what it looks like with a, li a little bit of patina sitting up on it. And I have this already loaded up with the Gillette Super Thin, because if you remember from my previous video, the uh, little tabs that hold that blade into place when, when you're loading it, there's a little bit of a uh, extra tolerance there so the blade can shift one side or the other or cock one way or another. So I went ahead and adjusted that and in that amount of time with me talking, I probably could have did that on the video. So today is Father's Day and I want to say happy Father's Day to my dad and all the other fathers that are out there. And today, so I thought I would go with this um, because... You know those kids, they drive you crazy. I mean, bananas sometimes. And that kind of went in line with uh, that beautiful scent of bananas. Now, in the fact that I've been talking to Lee and he's been using this a lot and it made me want to break mine out. And I haven't used this in a while. So it took me a little while to remember what these scents were. And so, yes, it opens up with a nice banana scent. And then there's some mid uh, notes in there that are banana. And then after you use it for a little while, the, um, what do you call it? The dry down is bananas. <laughs> and this soap is really a nice. This is the CK1 version, which you can no longer get by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And honestly, if you want to know my opinion on that particular soap, it smells like if, uh, imagine going into a banana Laffy Taffy factory and sticking your head in there. That's what I really pick up. And I do enjoy the scent. My wife loves it. I have it whipped up already right here in this Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and my beautiful Trotter's Handcraft Brush. <laughs> and I am ready to get lathered up for pass number one. Can you hear the extra scruffiness? Man, I was gonna do a shave the other day and I got tied up with some things and I wasn't able to do it. And so that put my whole shave routine off a little bit. I'm gonna warm this razor up a little bit since it's copper. I wanna soak in some of that nice hot heat and let's get going with pass number one. Can you hear that thing mowing? I haven't used this in a while. No problems mowing it down with that super thin. Nice. It won't take long for that bowl to fill up. So I've been talking here recently about trying to narrow down my modern razors down to five. And I feel like that might have been um, the wrong number <laughs> because I've been looking at a lot of them and remembering the shaves and thinking, and I just, I don't, I don't know if I can get down to five. Unless I split it up from uh, double edge to single edge, but then that really only leaves me with the two uh, single edge razors that are modern. So they didn't really help me out a lot. Now 
And that's one reason why I was reaching back to this particular razor. And I don't know that I could honestly sell this to someone because of the blade alignment issue. So would it be fair to say that I would keep it but not really consider it in the, in the shaving rotation? I don't know. Just one of those things that you have to battle with your mind because I know that everyone that watches <clears throat> really doesn't care how many razors I have. It doesn't bother them one way or the other. I do like the way it shaves. I just wish that they would fix that blade line issue. And maybe they have. I don't know. It's, this is this razor is a few years old now. Might be pushing three. And I dearly wanted to shave with the home like razor again but i didn't want to bore you guys with the same razor too many times in a row and i've already been thinking about my next will it shade wednesday video i think this is going to be a good one yeah i think you guys are going to enjoy it i've just been enjoying thinking about doing it and what i might say and I think it's given that I already know the results. I'm not going to spoil the video. But um, when you guys see the title, you'll probably be like, ah, I already know the answer to that too. But I think it'll just be a fun little comparison shave or shave off. And for a lot of the new wet shavers out there it may be a good kind of introductory video or maybe it might help you decide whether you really want to convert over to safety razor shaving now i'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water and i will be right back and you know i did bring the ice cube stick up here today Luckily, I remembered it. I almost forgot it. And I'm a little bit too far away from the camera here. Oh, wow. Oh, how I love the ice cube. So refreshing. The only disadvantage is if you get too crazy with it, your shirt will get really wet. So don't get addicted to the ice. Or put a um, shirt on that you can get wet and then take it back off. So I do have the matching splash. And I thought this one was going to have the old restrictor in it. The glass one. I missed that restrictor. The new restrictor is not bad once you get down, you know, quite a ways in here. I've only used this a few times, so it requires, it requires a few more shakes. And I ran out of star jelly, so I've been reaching back to some of my other products, my older products. And this is Vanderhagen, and it's a post-shave soothing balm. And I can't really remember what it's like. Or what it was like I'm gonna put a little bit on the fingertip there must not be that much in there we'll put that much on there still kind of a, a lotiony feel which I don't like and it's a little it's not really sticky but it's kind of grippy, and I didn't put enough on. Probably because my hand started sucking that up. 
Okay, there we go. I do like that it's non-scented. There's really no scent to it. And that razor did an excellent job. Might have missed a little bit right there, but you know what? I'm just there for the blade reduction. All right, and it did an excellent job for that. So I will see you guys next week or on Will It Shave Wednesday. I'll put a little picture right here of everything I used, and I will see you guys on the next shave. You have a great rest of your weekend. Oh, 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 oh,